This is Pony Prepper Bill. Today is Wednesday, July 29th, 2020, and I wanted to bring something to your attention. I don't have cable TV. I don't watch mainstream media. I don't watch the news. Just whatever pops up on my news feed on my phone or laptop or something. Uh, every time I hear the news, people tell me, oh, did you hear this? Did you hear that? It's, it's all bull crap. It's all mainstream crap. But I've been saying for a while, I never understood the whole hand sanitizer thing. I mean, now everybody uses hand sanitizer. Every store, everywhere you go, wash your hands, use hand sanitizer. I've never used hand sanitizer maybe like five times my whole life. Uh, I worked at a sewer plant and we got, I mean, you're working with, you know, human waste. I would use hand sanitizer there, like on my way home or something. I mean, I got a shower every day and washed and scrubbed and... But there were people that worked in the office and they would use a bottle of hand sanitizer a week just at work. I don't know what they did at home, but they would have a big bottle of sanitizer and they'd use that in a week. They were always sick. They were always missing work. They always had uh, some kind of problem. And, you know, I always said, you know, and I've read that using prolonged, prolonged use of hand sanitizer can weaken and destroy your immune system. When you're a kid, you know, when we were kids back in the 60s and 70s, you know, we were always outside in the dirt, touching stuff, eating lunch, and we never washed our hands, maybe on the garden hose or wipe off the mud. We were never sick. The kids today are sick all the time. Uh, and there's a thing, hand sanitizer and your immune system. Hand sanitizer does have some possible bad side effects to it. Some sanitizers can weaken the immune system, disrupt your hormones, cause alcohol poisoning, and cause resistance to antibiotics. So all these people are getting flu-like symptoms, having COVID, whatever, and they're using this hand sanitizer. Every store I go into, I mean, you go into Wawa, Walmart, I mean, they have stations where you wash your hands with hand sanitizer when you're done and Clorox wipes to wipe your hand carts and stuff. You do know you're not supposed to use Clorox wipes without washing your hands. It says it right on the bottle. Wash your, your, your kitchen counters down, but then you're supposed to wa throw it out and wash your hands. I'm looking at people in stores taking Clorox wipes and wiping stuff down and then they're touching stuff and you're absorbing that in your skin. You're not supposed to do that. Uh, why you just stop using hand sanitizer? It harms your skin. It contains unknown and potentially dangerous chemicals. It can increase absorption of bad chemicals. Soap and water works best in most cases. You know, unless you're in your car or you're at work and you're doing stuff, I would rather carry a bar of soap or something or like the worker's cream you buy that can if you're working in your garage, like Gojo or something. Hand sanitizer is really not good. And what comes out in the news? I saw this the other day. It was 67 something, then 70, then 80. Now over 90. 90 brands of hand sanitizer from Walmart, Costco, BJ's, Target. They're being recalled. As demand for hand sanitizer surges, so do questionable imports, most made in Mexico. The FDA's list of ones to avoid is ballooning to now 75 varieties. The agency says it's seen a sharp increase in hand sanitizer products labeled to contain ethanol, but have tested positive for methanol, toxic if ingested or absorbed through the skin. Blindness, hospitalizations, and 10 deaths are believed linked to ingesting it. Four more companies have recalled their products Bloomin, the distributor for e brands, is here in San Antonio. Also, Optimus, Bio AAA, and Bercy. Tonight, notices alerting Americans to a growing list of recalled hand sanitizers as doctors in Arizona and New Mexico are sounding the alarm. At least 11 are dead and more than 30 hospitalized after using contaminated hand sanitizer, many drinking it in the hopes of getting a buzz. The FDA is now investigating 75 products from Mexico claiming to contain ethanol, but instead have tested positive for methanol or wood alcohol. It's toxic when absorbed through the skin and life-threatening if consumed. 
CBS News medical contributor, Dr. David Agus. When COVID-19 came along, you know, trusted brands went out the window for products in demand like hand sanitizer. And we took what we can get. And what you get is a lot of foreign made hand sanitizers that do not have quality ingredients. While the FDA was unable to tell CBS News how many bottles of bad sanitizer were sold, some were available at major retailers like Costco, Walmart, and CVS. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News. The FDA has added these four brands of hand sanitizer to a list of more than 75 that have been recalled. Some have been sold at major nationwide stores, including Walmart and Target. The recalled brands contain methanol, a chemical used to create fuel and antifreeze. It can make you sick if absorbed through the skin. Nausea, vomiting, headache, maybe pins and needles, funny feeling. But the real classic symptom is blindness or vision disturbance. At least two people in Arizona had to call poison control recently after using a recalled brand. These people admit to using it about 10 to 15 times a day, two, three, four days in a row. And then on that fourth or fifth day, they've started to uh, experience some vision impairment. In both cases, vision returned after the patient stopped using the hand sanitizer. Health experts say methanol can be present in sanitizers when they're not properly manufactured. And methanol won't be listed on the label. We really have to buy hand sanitizer from a reputable source or a reputable manufacturer. And if you're still unsure about hand sanitizer, experts say you already have a great solution at home. Soap and water are extremely effective at preventing the virus from spreading. Many of the recalled hand sanitizers come from outside of the country, and the FDA has issued a warning to one company in Mexico and placed their products on a do not import list. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Okay, now I'm going to put in a couple news videos and stuff that I got from the internet. Uh, you know, everybody, you got to wear a mask everywhere, and, and then they tell you, you got to wear a mask, and then you don't need a mask, you just need coverings, and, but everybody I know that doesn't wear a mask is not sick. People I know that wear a mask constantly, and in your car with the air conditioning on, that does nothing but spread the germ, uh, they're the ones getting sick and not feeling good. And it could be from the hand sanitizer, too. But, with all this stuff, they were selling out. You can't find N95 masks. You can't find surgical masks. But, you can find them in stores. You can find them at gas stations. You know, when you go in to buy a pack of cigarettes and your gum. Or, you go to a liquor store. They have packs. You, you can get packs at Aldi. They are not Aldi. Uh, where the hell do we go? Uh, Target had them and big lot if you didn't have a mask they sold masks you know three to a pack for five dollars or whatever it was and i saw some at tractor supply a big bag for like fifteen dollars or something a couple states have bought stuff they're all coming from china where all this originated from but there's in such high demand this is ridiculous people Batches of surgical face masks delivered to care homes and GP, GPs during the coronavirus pandemic have been recalled because they are faulty. The masks, which are out of date by as much as seven years, but were deemed safe to use, have been withdrawn after faults were reported with the straps and nose protection which hold them in place. Okay, so they're supposedly falling apart. More than 80 different batches of the masks now have been recalled. They are understood to have been part of a stockpile built up in 2009. In case of a flu pandemic and their shelf life extended after testing by their manufacturer. So in 2009, companies were mass producing masks in case of a flu pandemic. What company mass produced millions and millions of masks if nothing's happening? That kind of makes you wonder. It's left some care home bosses and doctors concerned that staff and patients could have contracted the virus despite using the personal protective equipment because of the fault which was first identified in May. You can't make this shit up. For three weeks, the Food and Drug Administration allowed the sale of several types of N95 style face masks 
for American health care workers despite evidence from other parts of the federal government that the masks were not effective for blocking the coronavirus. Millions of these masks produced in China have been bought or donated to American hospitals and distributed to others on the front line of the COVID-19 outbreak. Starting in mid-April, tests conducted by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention revealed that some of the products did not meet medical standards for protection against the coronavirus. Now, they're not saying they don't, they're bad. They're just saying the standards are not there. So you're wasting your money. And if you believe in this pandemic, you could put in your life on the line with masks that are no good. But it wasn't until Thursday that the FDA barred more than 65 of the 80 authorized manufacturers in China from exporting N95 style masks to the United States for medical use, citing poor quality. Okay, it says right there, they are not, they can't sell them in the United States for medical use. So they can't sell them to the hospitals and doctors and stuff. But are they the ones that we're seeing at Target? Are they the ones that you see at Walmart, ShopRite, where all these gas stations are selling masks? If you need masks, they got them. Makes you wonder, people. They want us to do all these things, but they're probably worse than the actual virus that they're protecting us from. And China has positioned itself as an enormous exporter of protective face masks amid a global shortage prompted by the coronavirus pandemic. But the Hong Kong-based media outlet Ming Pao reported Tuesday most Chinese factories making the masks have serious hygiene problems. It said 60 percent are not equipped with aseptic facilities that are essential for manufacturing medical products. Also, licenses issued by the Chinese government can be bought easily from unqualified companies and are open and often shared by multiple companies. Now, the recent approval of Chinese face masks as an alternative to KN95 by the U.S. Health Department led to exponential demand from other countries, and many are in a tough spot as masks aren't up to standard. But the U.S. has decided to strengthen quality screening for masks from China after the Netherlands recalled 600,000 masks ordered from China because they didn't offer adequate protection. WGN Investigates has learned millions of medical masks purchased by the state of Illinois from China may not be able to be used in the way they were intended. It comes after a neighboring state found some of their inventory was either ineffective or counterfeit. In recent weeks, the governor has said he is scouring the world for gowns, gloves, and masks. Part of that effort includes buying masks from China, including the KN95, which the CDC said earlier this month is an acceptable alternative during this crisis to the U.S.-approved N95 masks. But officials in Missouri are now recalling thousands of KN95 masks distributed to first responders. Testing over the weekend by the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Ser Services showed that some of these masks did not meet standards. Now, an alert from the Illinois Department of Public Health says KN95 masks from China may not meet performance standards. Counterfeit KN95 masks are reportedly flooding the marketplace. The health department now recommends agencies remove from service any KN95s that have already been received. It's an about face after the federal government welcomed the Chinese made versions of the masks. State spending records reveal Illinois has already spent nearly $17 million buying the KN95 masks. Comptroller Susanna Mendoza acknowledged the Wild West nature of spending in an interview last week. You know, this is what we've resorted to now as a state. It's essentially like almost feels like you're doing a sketchy drug deal on the side of the road when in fact you're trying to save people's lives. To help our hospitals, our health. A spokesperson for Governor Pritzker tells WGN Investigates the Illinois Department of Public Health's preference is that N95 masks be used for procedures like intubation that pose a higher risk of exposure. The spokesperson said the state is checking the KN95 masks that are shipped to Illinois to verify they meet standards and offer guidance on the best uses. N95s, the KN95s, the surgical masks, the covering, and so there are different levels of coverage that are needed depending on what you're doing. 
you know, you've really got to make sure that what arrives is what you paid for, what you thought you were getting. And so we're doing our best, you know, and things come in in shipments of a million. You can't go through one mask at a time. And so you try to take samples from, you know, the shipments that come in and make sure that you got what you were paying for. In several hospital systems, including Advocate and Amita, say they have not been using the KN95 masks. The state comptroller says if they find that flawed masks have arrived in the state's inventory, they will attempt to get refunds from suppliers. That's what I got. Uh, I'm not sure who knows what's been going on. I'm not sure who knows been, who's been watching what news and what information people are getting. So I went to different resources, and this is what I got. So do your own research. Don't believe me. Don't believe your neighbor. Do your own research. Everybody's going to debunk this and prove this is wrong and that's wrong. That's up to you. I mean, I don't wear a mask. I don't use hand sanitizer ever. I wash my hands with soap and water. And yes, sometimes I even take it out of the, the hose when I'm outside. I don't use uh, purified water to wash my hands. I take it right out of the spigot. Imagine that. Sometimes I'll even drink that water. I have well water though. Yep, well water. I don't have city water. If I had city water, I wouldn't drink it at all. So this is Piney Prepper Bill. That's what I got. I just wanted to bring some of this stuff to your to your attention. Don't use hand sanitizer. Use soap and water, and the masks. You know how I feel about the mask. Healthy people are being warned against using face masks to protect themselves against the virus. As Justine Conway explains, experts fear incorrect use could lead to more infection. It's becoming commonplace. On the streets and in supermarkets, people are increasingly wearing face masks, just as a precaution. Wearing masks like that is wasting a mask. That's a mask that won't be available when it's actually needed. The state government's advice on wearing face masks is in line with the World Health Organisation. Under its guidelines, masks should only be worn if you have a cough, fever and difficulty breathing, or if you are healthy and taking care of someone with these symptoms and or someone with a confirmed case of COVID-19. If you do not have these symptoms, you do not have to wear masks because there is no evidence that they protect people who are not sick. If you must wear one, a regular surgical mask is best. They're intended for single use only. Masks with respirators, also known as N95 surgical masks, should be reserved for healthcare workers. Nationwide, there's a shortage, and only one manufacturing plant in Australia makes them. This is Medcon in Shepparton. It's gone from producing two million masks a year to almost two million a week, exclusively for those frontline workers. When you look at some of the masks people are wearing, you can see there is a huge range of products out there. And while they may offer some sense of security, experts warn, if you wear a mask the wrong way, it could actually make you sick. When I've been walking about, I've been seeing people touching the front of the masks, adjusting the masks on their face, and then going and touching other things. What we've got to remember is that front of the mask may be picking up different pathogens, and the same goes for gloves. What they also will stop is you actually washing your hands. Justine Conway, Nine News. If you gotta wear it to go in a store, I put it on and I go in and I get out. But I don't cover my nose because I can't breathe and I will start coughing and everybody thinks you're sick and you got the COVID. And if I walk in, they say, please cover your nose. I say, no, thank you. I will go somewhere else. So this is Pony Prepper Bill. Until next video, I'll talk to you later.